Let's continue section 2.5. This time we're going to discuss the unit ratio. Um, a unit ratio is a ratio of any real number to 1. And in the unit ratios, we'll find the same principle um, that we did with a regular ratio, except that when we divide, we divide out the number that's in the denominator. And this creates what we call a unit ratio. And a unit ratio is not written as a whole number to another. It's simply written as a real number. So we're going to follow the step process right here for writing a unit ratio. And we're going to do that with example number 23. So we're going to write 23 miles to 6 gallons. So as a ratio, of course, that looks like 23 to 6. And what we're doing in this case is a unit ratio. So we're going to divide out the denominator. So one way of making it look is doing that and then writing this over here as something to 1. And this time units are actually important because it is a unit ratio and it's the units that interest us because in ratios typically our units are exactly the same. So this is another way of looking at this numerator divided by denominator. Well 6 will go into 23 three times and the decimal comes up and then we have the 18 here and then we have 5 and bring down the 0 and 6 will go into there 8 times and then we have the 48 and then that subtracted and we'll get 2 and bring down the 0 and then that'll go in there 3 times and then we're going to see a repeating pattern. I don't have room to write it so I'll just write it like that. So we'll put a bar over it and so we could write the 3.833 up here like this. Another way we could write this is we could have said at this point we have 5 6 so we could say 3 we could say 3 and 5 6 and use that rate, uh, fractional representation and then the units are important in a unit ratio miles per gallon and whatever we hear as the per that's the one that we're seeing down here so we could say that this is one way of writing it or we could say another way of writing it is down here and we could even dispense with writing the one here so let's look at our example number 24 now. In example number 24, we have 212 uh, miles to 4 hours. So again, I'm going to write it as a division problem here. And then I can say 4 will go into 21 five times. I'll do short division this time with one left over. 4 goes into 12 um, three times, and that's it. And so now we have 53, and we'll use the units there at, to make it a unit rate and or ratio, and that's miles per hour. By the way, some books do call this unit rates, by the way. And so there we have 53 miles per hour. And that we recognize as a speed, right? And that's what we're talking about down here. The, the average um, speed is a rate, and that rate is the distance divided by the time. And that's what we saw, distance divided by the time, because remember we could write this as 212 to 4, and that gives us our miles two hours and that would be the unit ratio of that um, example. Now another thing that we could look at is a unit ratio and in terms of a word problem. So let's take a look at example number 26 here. Um, we go to, or excuse me, 25. We go on a Ferris wheel and it completes one revolution in 20 seconds. So if its circumference is 220 feet, what is the rate that a person travels when riding on the Ferris wheel? So in this example, we have an application. So what we see is that this Ferris wheel and the circumference of this is equal to um, 220 feet. And so the person that's riding on this Ferris wheel is going to go all the way around those 220 feet, right? As they go around this way, they're riding on this, this circumference. And they're going to do that in 20 seconds because one time around. So we're going to get 220 feet per 20 seconds. And so to find their speed at which they complete a revolution, then we're going to do the unit ratio thing. So we will divide both the top and the bottom here by 20, as we've been seeing in each one. Now I'm going to run out of room.